The Golden Gloves Tournament of Champions is back in Detroit. More than 300 of the top amateur boxers in the country will be competing. The Downtown Boxing Gym and Metro Detroit Golden Gloves are hosting the tournament. It's going to be happening May 13th through the 18th at Huntington Place. And joining us tonight to talk more about it is Ansel Stewart, president of the Metro Detroit Golden Gloves, and Lance Smith, a two-time Detroit Golden Gloves champion and a National Golden Gloves bronze medalist from the 2023 tournament. Thank you both for being here. Oh, thanks for having us. Thank so you for having us. for those who don't know, Lance, I mean, this is difficult. Tell us about what it means to, to get to where you've gotten before in this tournament. Oh, man, it's, it's very difficult. you got guys all across the nation that are competing to win. A, you know, the Golden Gloves is a legendary tournament. Mm -hmm. Many great champions in the past have won, and everybody wants their name to be written in the history books. Yeah. Yeah, tell us about your journey. Are you from here? Has this been something you've always wanted to do? Um, yep, I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, uh, on the west side, Seven Mile. And um, I, I just started boxing when I was 13, 14. Uh, I never really wanted to do boxing initially, but I kind of just, you know, my dad suggested that I try it. You know, for self-defense, I had success with football and basketball, but that wasn't really the path, you know, for me. You know, I, I think it was the team aspect. You know, I hated losing it and, and not being able to control the outcome or have an impact on it. But, you know, boxing, it stuck with me because it's, it's all me. It's just, it's just you, and, you and your opponent in the ring, and I can always look myself in the mirror after a fight. Yeah. And so the gym has been around for 90 years now and has such a legacy. Uh, what does it mean to you to be a part of such a historic place in Detroit? I mean, you know, it, it's a pleasure, you know, just to be a part of the Golden Gloves. As Lance stated, um, you know, the Golden Gloves, when it comes to amateur boxing, it's the pinnacle of amateur boxing. And so, you know, it's a pleasure to be a part of it. And it's also a pleasure, a great pleasure to bring it back to the city of Detroit. Because when we went to um, and have a bid to bring the Golden Gloves to the city of Detroit, not only did we uh, market the Golden Gloves, but we marketed the city of Detroit. And everybody just wanted to be a part of coming back to the city of Detroit. Mm -hmm. So it was a, it's a great pleasure to bring it back to the city. And as Lance was telling us how you have been able to take things to, to the mm -hmm. next level with your leadership, mm -hmm. how does that feel for you? And just also tell us about your vision for the boxing gym and just the industry as a whole in Detroit. You know, um, boxing is a, have a strong history in, in Detroit. And um, I'm not from Detroit. So when, when I had an opportunity to be a part of the Golden Gloves and be part of some of these young men and women lives, you know, it was a pleasure. And um, have, have somebody like Lance, who's part of the program, you know, can show the kids, you know, what they can accomplish being part of the program. So it's, it's a pleasure for us to you know, just be a part of this, um, a great history of boxing, a great history of um, talent from, you know, Joe Lewis, you know, Tommy Hearns, even the latest um, Tony Harrison came through the, uh, the Golden Gloves program. And it's just a pleasure to be a part of it. Yeah. Lance, what does it mean to you to be that role model now for those younger kids? And, and how much of an impact do you think a place like the Golden Gloves has on their lives? Um, it's a, truly a blessing to be able to have that type of impact. You know, I always grew up looking up to people. And uh, now to hear that people are kind of looking up to me and kids, you know, every, every, everybody loves superheroes. Everybody loves that type of story, that yeah. thrill, you know, overcoming things because we all have our own personal battles. I think that's why boxing is such a, a sought-after sport. So to have somebody to look to, and, you know, they're no different than me. I come from the same grounds they come from, fight the same battles they fight, been through some of the same struggles. So to see another person, you know, winning is just another chance for them to see that I can do it too. Yeah. We talked about the fact that this competition is bringing in some of the top boxers in the country. You brought the hardware with you to show that you are one of those people. Tell us about yep. the process of getting to that place where you are winning and walking away with the gold. Oh, man, it's been a long journey. Eight years I've been boxing. And, uh, and I'm nowhere near perfect, and I don't want to put on no, no persona like I am. But yeah, I got two bronze medals. I won a sportsmanship award, and you know this is the, the belt for winning the Detroit Golden Gloves. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of hard days, you know. Good, bad, you got to show up every day and put in work and just try to perfect the craft of getting better and have fun while you're doing it. So the tournament's coming up next month, May 13th through the 18th. What can people expect? We have boxers from across the country as far away as Hawaii. Mm -hmm. You can have the best boxers in the world in Detroit. Um, just come out and support. There's going to be a lot of good fights. Um, from Saturday, you know, we uh, start registering the kids from um, Saturday. Boxing started Monday all the way through Saturday. And it's going to be a wonderful week in the city of Detroit. And what does it mean for you to be representing the city? Like I said, it's a, it's, it's, it's a great thing, man. Detroit, everyone, you know, respects our culture, respects us. But it's, it's just an amazing thing. Like, we're not like in New York or of Florida, like like a super superstar, you know, market area, but you know, everyone from Detroit is well respected. 
Yeah. And lastly, I want to ask you, if there's a kid watching who's saying that he looks up to you and maybe wants to do this one day, what's your message of inspiration to him? Oh, man. Or her. Just keep faith. <laughs> just, just have faith. Have faith. You know, you're here for a reason. Um, and you can overcome anything. Everybody goes through struggles and battles, but, you know, you got to keep, you know, looking up high and you, you, you can achieve it. Clearly you can. So good to have you both here. Thanks so much for Thank coming you. by. We're looking forward to the tournament coming up in May. This Thank is you. Ansel Stewart and Lance Smith joining us today.